Taurus, welcome to the Onyx Moon Tarot. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Go to my Facebook page, The Onyx Moon Tarot, to follow and like for a daily pick a card and card of the day. Taurus, there is no gender in tarot. This is something that could have gone, you, you could have gone through already, you could be going through now, or you could go through in the future. This is a collective reading, Taurus, meaning I could be pulling for a lot of Tauruses and it might not resonate with you. I could be pulling on your sun sign or any placements of Taurus, but usually it's your sun sign. If it doesn't resonate, you can negate my reading. I have absolutely no problem with that. You could have Crosswatcher energy attached to you, and I could be talking about them. Again, you can negate my reading. If it does resonate, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that I resonate with you. I like to know if, uh, if I'm hitting my mark. And happy birthday. We're going into Taurus season. What do we got? Soulmates, deep love, unity, and connection. Well, what do you know? Did you get rid of that dickhead that you've been dealing with? I pulled the angel cards out. Let's get a little bit of angel love going. Are you meeting somebody new? I hope so. I hope you got rid of that ass hat, arrogant, egotistical, pat my ass because of who I am. Greatest American hero. Doris, ask for what you want. Clear communication with yourself, with God, and with others. Help you avoid misunderstandings. Speeds up the process of answered prayers. So be clear with what you will accept and what you won't accept. Soulmates, deep love, unity, and connection. Very, very nice. I hope that's somebody new. I don't remember a lot of readings, but I remember yours. You were the side chick. Always the side piece. Or they treated you like one. I see I'm getting mad. I'm not shuffling the right way. I'm not going to take that because I'm not shuffling properly. I'm shuffling properly now and the cards are not... Oh, my, my. Got some Leo energy here. Queen of, Wands, Queen of Wands reversed is read two ways, as a witch or as a mistress. Nine of Cups reversed. Not wish fulfillment. Something's not wish fulfillment. Somebody could have a drinking problem. Somebody could have a drinking problem that you might not know about. You might know that they like to drink, but their problem could be way more than what you know about. Like, yeah, they go out, local watering hole. You could even be there with them. You know, like in a friend capacity, nobody knows that you're seeing each other because you're on the DL. And then you don't even know that in the morning they don't drink coffee, they pop a beer. This person could have a drinking problem, drinking problem. You could have dark hair, long dark hair. They bought you a necklace, something sentimental, something that you like. I don't know. Something. There's something about a necklace. That's not the first time I've gotten that for the Taurus Collective. There's something in regards to a necklace. There's something that this person got you. It 
it's a piece of jewelry. It's a necklace. It is a necklace. Something that is that you like it means something to you it's not just a regular little you know let me go to the mall and buy a little round diamond necklace this has some type of meaning it, it's uh i don't know maybe maybe you like stars and they bought you a star necklace or circle something this means something if you're not together with this person or you're in cycles with this person which I think you are I think you're in each other's life cyclical like you it cycles around you're with them a little bit more and then not so much could be because you're hurt you know that they're not you thought they were your two of cups you thought they were your wish fulfillment. But then they hold you back. They push you off. They could have self-esteem problems. They could have money problems that they don't want you to know about. Again, drinking problems. But they hold you in high esteem. It's their esteem that's the issue. Not that you would know it. They have a lot of secrets. They hold a lot of things. There's a lot of things you don't know. You think you know, but you don't know. This person's very dark. very sexually attracted to you if you haven't done the deed they want to and if you have what you've done with them is vanilla compared to what they want to do this person is very very dark they may hire they may hire we're not taking these but we're gonna look at them ace of pentacles have everything you need seven of pentacles don't know where you're gonna Six of Swords getting out of this shit show. Okay. Um, they may hire in order to get that darkness met. There's a push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. They know how much you care for them. They like that. They like that you're feisty. But at the same time, they mold you. You don't know it, of course. They're working on their finances. You want to be team. You may work together. Maybe you work together. In some capacity, you might work together. That's how it could be cyclical. You see each other, maybe different departments, you're together sometimes, maybe you're together, you are thrown together for some reason, somehow you are thrown together. It's inevitable that you're going to be together. Even if you'd never want to see this person again, you would have to stop doing something in order to not see this person. But you won't do that because no matter how much they hurt you you're going to keep going back oh but you're getting over the heartbreak you're getting over the heartbreak so what does that mean that you're getting over the heartbreak 
That's good. They focus on their finances. Like a one-track mind. They're focused on their money. Where can I get the biggest bang for my buck? I've got to take care of where can I get the biggest bang for my buck? My money is their god, okay? You may not know that. No, maybe nobody knows it. I don't know. They may have, they may have come from a, they come from a place of lack. So money is their god. It's what they concentrate on. It's all about the Benjamins. It's all they want. They might have a, a, a bajillion dollars. Who knows? But they want more, and that's what they focus on. Either you're healing from the heartache with this person, and they can't hurt you any longer. Great. Because you know that they weren't your Nine of Cups. But you're still in contact with them. They have a one-track mind. But they have a one-track mind for a lot of things. Meaning they don't change their mind. They could be a fixed sign. They could be an Aquarius, a Taurus, Scorpio, or a Leo. They don't change their mind. Oh, King of Pentacles. Well, hmm, see? They could have... What did I say? Earth magic. They are focused on their money, but this, this says that they have money. They must just want more money. But back to what I was saying. They have a one-track mind about a lot of things. Their ideas on something are their ideas. You don't change this person's mind on anything. If something silly, you put up your Christmas tree the day before Thanksgiving, so you have a Christmas tree on Thanksgiving Day and all the family can enjoy the lit tree and all the decorations and everything, this person puts his Christmas tree up Christmas Eve, takes it down, Christmas night. You don't take yours down till after New Year's. Two silly, two totally different things, not really anything, but they're not going to change. That's how they do their thing. It's going to be that. That's how they do their thing. It's always going to be how they do their thing. And that's something very small, but this is their personality. I've got my ideas. I've got my ways. My ways don't change. They work for me. So the person that's going to have to adapt is you. And you're a fixed sign. You're not changing. You're always going to put your Christmas tree up the day before Thanksgiving. And you're always going to take it down the day after New Year's. Or you might even wait for the Orthodox holiday and take it, up, take it down the 8th of January. Or might even wait for Three Kings Day. Who knows? But... You're going, to do your, you're going to do your way, too. So this could be butting heads, especially if this is with a fixed sign. This Three of Swords reversed. I, you're, not, you're not feeling it. You know that they're not your, your, your Nine of Cups. But they're still here. Because you still see them. So what the hell? What the hell, Taurus? What the hell? I'm going to have to do two readings for you again. Firm foundation. Engagement card. Eleven, eleven, Soulmate.
You're not heartbroken over this person any longer. They have tunnel vision. Is this King of Pentacles new? Is this King of Pentacles new? You know what? We're not going to do this. We're going to do this. Is the King of Pentacles new? King of Pentacles is new. All right. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Okay. So this old person, this makes, this makes more sense. Your old person who had you, treated you like you were either a witch or a mistress, which we know that. They weren't your wish fulfillment, but they did give you something. They gave you a piece of jewelry. Their self-esteem was very low, but they were a dickhead and they acted like you had to pat them on the ass and just because of who they were, and they were nothing, could have worked together in some capacity. And you still see this person. You still see them. Maybe you're friends now. I don't know. But the heartache, it's there, but it's less. You're not devastated. They're very stuck in their ways. They have tunnel vision. But you know something? So do you. You're not going to give up your ways just because somebody has their ways. Bullheaded. You're the most stubborn person. You're the most stubborn sign. King of Pentacles is new. Which is fabulous because Tauruses are the Queen of Pentacles. Very practical. King of Pentacles. All about the, all about the money, but in a good way. A lot of integrity. Could be a financial advisor, stockbroker, banker, just somebody that's really good with money. Might play the market just as a hobby, but makes the money. And make sure that everybody has the money. Make sure his family is straight and secure. Something happens to him, you don't have to worry about, am I going to lose my house? That's all taken care of. There's life insurance, there's burial funds. It's all It's all good. Very conscientious about protecting his family. Married king. Loving husband. 11-11 card, four of wands. This is the engagement card. This is taking a relationship to the next level. So you're meeting your king, knight, your king of pentacles and you're going to be talking about taking a relationship to the next level. If you haven't met this person yet, that's something that will be coming. Leo energy, strength, reversed. You can be this person's weakness. You can take this one of two ways. You're not going to be brave about something. Or you can be this person's weakness. Or they can be your weakness. Star reversed, Aquarian energy, something that's not healed, that there's no hope for. If it's this past, you need to let that go. They're very manipulative, but you know that. You know that. You've dealt with it for long. You've dealt with it for a long time. You already know what they were, what they are. Got your King of Pentacles. Earth sign like you. Even though I don't like to call out signs, that is earth magic. Soulmate, deep love, unity, and connection. This is good. This is moving you. I don't know when. Moving you. I, I don't like to tell time frames. I can, but I don't like to do that because everybody has free will. This is moving you away from this problem, this trouble, this arrogant, egotistical. Now, you're still in contact with that person, 
don't be surprised that they're going to mind your business when you meet this person. Move in silence because they will try to get to mind your business. They will try. King of Pentacles isn't going to put up with shit from somebody that doesn't have any self-esteem. That's a drunk, I'll tell you that much. But that past person will try. Ask for what you want, Taurus. Clear communication with yourself and with God. Get rid of that past. Let that go. And hey, you're awesome. How about that? This is your reading, Taurus. If it resonates, give me a thumbs up. Go to my Facebook page, The Onyx Moon Tarot. I do a daily pick-a-card reading and card of the day.